Hello! People tend to overlook important details when it comes to their privacy and I'm here to fix that for you by walking you through Facebook's timeline and tagging settings. First, go to facebook.com and then log in with your Facebook account. You'll find yourself on your news feed where you can see all your posts from friends and pages you've liked. Next, look for the little padlock icon on the menu bar. Hover on it and you'll see the words Privacy Shortcuts. Click on it and you will see a drop-down menu. Now, click See More Settings. You are now on the Privacy Settings and Tools page where you can tailor your own Facebook experience. As you can see, the many categories on the navigation pane, but for today, we're interested in Timeline and Tagging Settings. On this page, you can see three main options. They are who can add things to my timeline, who can see things on my timeline, and how can I manage tags people add and tagging suggestions. I've already made the recommended settings and I'll walk you through them to keep your timeline and tagging as fast free as possible. Let us begin with who can add things to my timeline. First of the two options you see here is who can post on your timeline. Alright, click edit to edit settings and click only me to see what can you actually edit. That's between friends or only me. If you choose friends, your friends are able to actually post on your wall without your permission. If you choose only me, well, only you can do your posts. Well, click only me for the safer option. Second option is no less important as it allows you to see a post you've been tagged in before other people do. The timeline review lets you manually control posts you've been tagged in before they appear on your timeline. That's great if you don't want to give away too much about your personal life. Again, to edit, please click edit. And you will see a little disclaimer there. Please read it carefully, alright, as it explains to you what actually happens. By default, it is enabled as Facebook wants you to protect your privacy, but you can either disable it or leave it enabled. On to part 2 of our walkthrough today, which is who can see things on my timeline. Under the sub menu, there are three options which are review what other people see on your timeline, who can see posts you've been tagged in on your timeline, and who can see what others posted on your timeline. To review what others actually see on your timeline, simply click the view as button on the first option. You'll be brought to your profile page, but note the additional navigation bar at the top of your screen. The default screen shows you how your timeline looks to the public. For example, it's how mine looks like if you haven't added me as a friend yet. Note that you can also see your profile from a specific person's standpoint. Click view a specific person and type in a friend's name. Voila, you are now seeing your profile from their shoes. This is useful for seeing how much you actually tell the world about yourself as a good reference to do changes to your privacy settings. The next option is who can see posts you've been tagged in on your timeline. Click edit to adjust this setting. As usual, Facebook gives you a lot of leeway in terms of what you can change. Click on the button to see all the options available. There's everyone, which is the public, friends of friends, which is your friends and their friends, friends, only me, custom, and of course, more options. More options when actually holds the group which you are part of. But let's see what the customs banner hold. In this pop-up menu, you can see share with or don't share with where in the first banner which is share with you can actually add someone's name in there so they can see your future posts and conversely in don't share with they can't see whatever you've been tagged in all right you can actually add individual friends or groups of friends as well similarly in the don't share with list you can add individual friends or groups of friends Click save changes to keep these changes. For the third and final part of this video, I will show you how to manage text people add and taking suggestions. The first option is to review text people add on your photos before they appear to your audience. Alright, click on edit again and you can see a disclaimer that comes up. Read it carefully and you can see that it explains to you everything that it has to do about it. By default it's enabled, you can either disable it or leave it as it is. I recommend to leave it as it is because it is a safer, much more better safeguard against things. Moving on, there's an option for you to add an audience to your post if they aren't already in it. What this means is you can actually add people to see the post you've been tagged in if they haven't already. Alright, click on edit, click on the button and you can see friends, only me, 
and custom. I command and delete is only me. The last option is who sees text suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded. When a photo that looks like you is uploaded, Facebook suggests adding a tag of you. This helps save time by adding text to photos, especially when labeling many photos from one event. Suggestions can always be ignored and no one will be tagged automatically. For this, click on edit and of course read the disclaimers again carefully. The options are pretty clear cut here because it's between no one and friend. Now just be careful right because if you turn it off or leave it as no one, Facebook won't suggest that people that tag you in photos that look like you. Friends will still be able to see you though. So there you have it guys, adjustments to your timeline settings that you can make your Facebook timeline to make it more private and therefore safer. Hope I've helped you with this one and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.